When gamblers talk about streaks in betting, you'll often hear them talk matter-of-factly about something called the law of large numbers. But unfortunately, most of the people I've heard talk about this law, well, they're using it in the opposite way than it was intended. When you see a long streak of wins on one side of a coin flip, these people will tell you that this law proves that the opposite bet will rubber band and make up for the deficit over the next set of spins. But is that true? Let's go over what this law really means today on Chat Case. What up, donkeys? Jack Hayes here with jackhayes.com, where I talk about my three favorite topics, gambling, crypto, and math. Today, I'm going to talk about something called the law of large numbers and how it's often misused to try and explain something that is not necessarily true. So first of all, let me state that the law of large numbers is a real thing. Look, here's a Wikipedia page for it. And there are a ton of YouTube videos about it. And I can tell you that it's easy to observe its tenets through simple simulation. But what exactly is it? The law of large numbers basically says that when you perform more and more trials, your actual results will converge towards your expected result. And it's true. Just take a look at this graph of me betting black in roulette. With this graph, we see a little fluctuation around the expected result. But as we perform more and more trials, the actual results will start to converge toward the expected result. But with this specific bet, there's not a lot of deviation from the expected result line. And that's because you have a 47.4% chance of winning and a 52.6% chance of losing. That's nearly a coin flip. So winning or losing a lot of money outside of your expectations requires your wins or losses to be really out of whack. So now let's take a look at this graph of me betting on a single number straight up in roulette. At the beginning of our graph, we can see that our results wildly fluctuate around the expected result of losing 5.26% of all money wagered. But as we perform more and more trials, more and more tests, we see that our actual results start to hug that expected result line pretty closely. And that's what you'll typically see because of the law of large numbers. So how are people getting this concept wrong? The problem is that these novice statisticians will see a big run of a certain type of bet winning, and they'll use the law of large numbers to predict that an influx of the opposite bet is due. For instance, on a double zero roulette wheel, after 3,800 spins, you'd expect to see 1,800 reds and 1,800 blacks. But what if we experienced 1,900 reds and 1,700 blacks? If we look at the hits on black, we can see we've hit it 1,700 out of 3,800 times, or about 44.7% of the time. That's about 2.7% lower than the 47.4 hit rate we'd expect. So that means that over time, we'd have to have a surplus of black numbers in order to make up for that deficit, right? 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 Nope, that's wrong. If you thought that we'd have to make up for this deficit over time, then you're guilty of misunderstanding the law of large numbers too. So now you're probably wondering how we could offset this imbalance on one side without creating imbalance on the other side. Well, let's take a look at a situation where the next 38 million spins behave as expected. That means that each number will come up exactly 1 million times. And that means that we'll see 18 million black numbers. So what does that do to our overall results? Now our overall percentage of black numbers is 18 million 1,700 divided by 38,003,800 or 47.36816%. And we would expect this percentage to be 18,001,800 out of 38,003,800 or 47.36842%. So the delta or the difference between the actual result and the expected result went from 2.7% down to 0.00026%. So without having any surplus of black numbers at all, we've reduced the imbalance by a factor of 10,000. And in fact, we don't even have to have results that mirror the expected results. We can have actual results that skew towards red. So let's say that in our 38 million additional trials, it's possible to see 18.1 million reds and 17.9 million blacks. So now instead of being 1,000 under par, we're 101,000 under par but we still improve our actual results to 17,901,700 divided by 38,003,800 or 47.10503%. So our delta is still reduced from 2.7% to 0.263%. That's not as close as when we had 18 million black numbers, but it's still really close. And that is what the law of large numbers is trying to demonstrate. You can have a large imbalance now, but when you expand your sample size greatly, 
you significantly decrease the impact of that imbalance. And you don't even need to tip the scales the other way to correct the disparity. Just having the sample look more like the expected results will contribute to the course correction. What up donkeys, Jack Hayes here with jackhayes.com. And I'm here with my roulette simulator spreadsheet. And this is just a really quick spreadsheet that I whipped up that can perform simple simulations of simple bets where there's no progression, there's no ladder system, there's no negative progression, there's no martingale, there's no positive progression, there's no pressing. It's just about defining a bet and simulating a thousand, a hundred thousand spins of that betting pattern. So right here, we are looking at a hundred thousand spins of betting on black, just one dollar. And let's take a look at that through 1,000 spins. So I'm going to scroll down here. As you can see, every time we hit a black number, we do win a dollar. Every time we hit a red number or a green, we lose a dollar. That's what the red is. That's what the parentheses are. And this running total column will decrement by one whenever we lose. It'll increase by one whenever we hit. And let's just scroll down to the thousandth spin. After a thousand spins, we would expect to be down $52.60 around that value. So let's look. Here's the thousandth spin. We would expect to be down $52.63, but we are actually down $94. Our actual loss is 9.4%, which means that our difference between this and 5.26% is 4.14%. So that's a pretty big difference, right? It's almost double the loss of what we would expect. And we can look at this chart. Here's this chart. This blue line represents our expected loss for every point in time. So after a thousand spins, we would expect to be down $52.63. And you can see, since this is an even money bet, from bet to bet, it doesn't wander very much. You can see where we have, here's a large winning streak, here's a large losing streak, here's a pretty large losing streak here, with just one small win in between. And at the end, we're way below par. We're down $94 instead of 52. Now, if we go back to the trials and we scroll all the way down to the bottom, this is our 100,000th spin. After 100,000 spins, we are down 5,350, which is 5.35%, which is just a difference of 0.09% from the expected 5.2% six three percent and if we look at the chart this chart takes a second or two to pop up because it's got a hundred thousand points of data you can see the blue trend line that is what our expected value is our expected loss after a hundred thousand spins you can see that we are down 5350 and we're just a little bit off from the 52 63 that we would expect to be down. So that is one example of how the law of large numbers is working. So I have another set of trials here. This one is a hundred thousand spins of just betting one dollar straight up on the 21. So if I scroll through the results here, a lot of losses. Here I hit two 21s in a row and we can scroll down to the thousandth spin. So here we're going to have a lot more extreme fluctuations compared to betting the even money bet because we're going to lose a lot of the time, but every once in a while we have a little jolt in revenue. We're going to win 35 units at a time. So let's look at our 1,000th spin. So here we're actually up 4.4%, which is a delta of about almost 10%. We're ahead of the curve by 9.66%. So we would expect to be down $52.63, just like when we were betting $1 on the black even money bet.
but instead of being down 52, we are up $44. So here we have an even bigger delta. And if we look at the graph for the first thousand spins, we can see how much more this graph fluctuates. So a lot of large jumps and then mostly a steady decline. The black chart, when we bet on black, it's more of a random walk, walking up and down this chart. Here, betting on a single number straight up, it's gonna be more of a wild ride, and that's what we see, and that's how we're able to be up 10% of what we would expect. Now again, we can zoom out, and we can look at the first 100,000 spins, and after 100,000 spins, we would expect to be down $5,263, but we're only down 5,100. So instead of being down 5.26%, we are down 5.1%. That's only a difference of 0.16%. So we have really started to converge toward the expected result of being down 5.26%. Again, this is a double zero wheel. And when we look at the chart, again, this takes a while to load. We do see that this is a much bigger fluctuation than what we saw with just betting on black. And for the most part, we are above the curve. We do dip down a little bit, but you can see as, as this graph gets bigger, as we have more data points, this graph is gonna start converging toward our expected result. So, that is the law of large numbers in action. So if you experience a large losing streak, you can't use the law of large numbers as a crutch. It's not gonna save you by rewarding you with a streak of winners. Ultimately, the law of large numbers just tells us that no matter how far out of whack our current results are, if we just continue running trials, our actual results will start to converge to our expected results. And now we've seen that we don't need out of whack results to make this happen. We can course correct without completely cranking the wheel the other way. And it amazes me that people will insist that they understand that the roulette wheel has no memory. Yet, in the same breath, they'll tell you that the law of large numbers means that we can expect the tide to turn after a losing streak. If you learned something here, remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy learning about the math behind gambling. Remember to always gamble responsibly, never play triple zero roulette, and peace out, donkeys. <laughs>